I gave my patient her dream nose with a rhinoplasty. I'm very happy to see my patient taking this active role to uh, educate people about rhinoplasty, what it entails and how it's the recovery. I had a deviated septum so I couldn't actually breathe up my nose properly. And while it was at it, I normally get fitter at the top of my nose here. A lot of people try to do what we call a non-surgical rhinoplasty. This usually entails injecting fillers to the nose. It has, in my opinion, limited applications. And if it's overused, it can lead to a broadening of the nose. He literally done exactly what I wanted. Mine was quite an easy procedure because I didn't really want to change much to my nose. During this operation, we took away the filler. We shaved off the bump of the bridge. Uh, we did a septoplasty. And at the end, I placed a splint on the nose to keep everything in the right place for approximately seven to 10 days. My swelling was quite bad, but I think that's normal. It's not uncommon to have swelling. During this procedure, we changed the shape of the bone. Usually the swelling peaks three days after the surgery and then it starts improving. I asked my patients to sleep with the head slightly elevated for the first two weeks and to avoid exercise, avoiding uh, salty food and of course not flying. I can actually breathe properly out my nose now. It's so important to hear that from the day that uh, the patient removed the parking immediately she could feel the improvement in breathing. It went quite well like the whole procedure went really really good with Dr Yanis in Hardy Street. He was brilliant, literally amazing, he's such a lovely guy. I find this video to be very helpful because it gives real patient information and feedback. For any information on rhinoplasty, septorhinoplasty, you can reach me at 111harleystreet.com.